This KXLY 4 News Morning Sprint is brought to you by Park Gordon Law. All right, it is 6.53. Time now for your morning sprint to get you ready for your Thursday. Caroline Flynn is live at Vitalent, where it needs your donation to help patients in our community. And Mark Peterson is tracking a change in the weather on the way for the weekend. Uh, but first, relief for parents, students, and staff at Spokane's Lewis and Clark High School. As police have now arrested an 18-year-old, they say, is responsible for threatening a school shooting. Ryan Lee was taken into custody at his parents' home yesterday. Lee is the same person suspected of making similar threats last spring. He was arrested for those threats in June, but released to his parents while he awaited trial. Spokane Police and the FBI began a new investigation when the most recent threat surfaced on Instagram over the weekend. The police have a, planned a press conference for this morning. It's going to start in just a few hours where we're expecting to learn the details about what led them to arrest Lee again. That's scheduled to start at 1030. As of right now, the 18-year-old is still in the Spokane County Jail, and he should be making his first court appearance this afternoon. Our cameras will be there when he does. We'll bring you the latest information as this case develops on KXOY.com, our social media, and tonight on KXOY 4 News. All right, today's going to be a pretty mild day. We're not expecting anything major to happen. We had a few light showers that happened in the early morning hours. That's it. We're going to have cloud cover that's going to be with us, and it's going to hang out through the day. Uh, again, we're going to see this picture change tomorrow midday as we get rain that comes through with snow into the mountains. But our highs stay into the mid-30s. It'll be 33 into Moses Lake from Omak, Wenatchee, all the way down to Yakima. You can see temperatures in the mid-30s there, very consistent. Well, the Adams County Sheriff has joined a growing list of Washington law enforcement officials who say they will not enforce Initiative 1639. The law brings some of the nation's strictest gun regulations to Washington, including raising the age to buy a semi-automatic rifle to 21 and requiring everyone with a firearm to keep it locked up. Sheriff Dale Wagner said he has sworn to uphold the U.S. Constitution and believes I-1639 appears to violate the Second Amendment. A Wagner joins six other county sheriffs who say they will not enforce that law. They are from Lewis, Klickitat, Benton, Franklin, Kaikum, and Cowlitz counties. The police chief of Republic Washington also refuses to enforce the law. He was the first to announce his stance back in November. The Spokane Valley couple is under investigation for human trafficking. Police believe 27-year-old Leon Henderson and 22-year-old Heather Kemper injected a 20-year-old woman with heroin and forced her into prostitution. The victim told police Henderson threatened to kill her if she, if she told authorities. Undercover officers posing as clients arranged to meet the victim at the Oxford Suites in Spokane. That's when she told them what happened and identified Henderson. And frigid temperatures that we're experiencing around the country and right here at home, as well as flu season, are greatly impacting the numbers of blood donors. We're wrapping up on Blood Donor Month, but again, that doesn't mean that they don't need donations. If you're eligible to donate, that's if you weigh over 110 pounds or in general good health and, of course, over the age of 16, you can call this number on your screen that you're seeing or head to KXY.com and click on the news link section. If you're unable to donate for health reasons, maybe ask family and friends to donate in your name. Well, 100 percent of profits made at Ferrante's Marketplace Cafe today will go to the Ronald McDonald House. You can help if you stop by the cafe on Spokane South Hill between 9 o'clock, or excuse me, 11 o'clock this morning and 9 o'clock tonight. This is the sixth year Ferrante's has held this event to sponsor the charity. Get some gelato while you're there. And tonight on KXLY 4 News at 6, the story of a local elementary trying something brand new. It really is exciting. Every Thursday, students at Progress Elementary in the Central Valley participate in a variety of STEM classes classes that they get to choose, the electives. Today, we're going to join them. Catch this story tonight at 6 on KXLY 4. All right, coming up next on Good Morning America, more than 150 firefighters battling this eight alarm fire in the bitter cold. Investigators now trying to figure out what caused this New Jersey paper plant to catch fire. And a disturbing story. St. Louis police officer shot and killed by a fellow cop during a sort of game of Russian roulette. But her family says they need more answers. All right, traveling outside, you're not going to see a lot of bad road conditions. There's a little bit of light fog out there. The seven-day forecast has rain for Friday, a little bit of snow possible Sunday, and then Arctic air mass middle of next week. We'll just kind of get a little involved, a little bit of everything. <laughs> GMA starts right now. See you in 25 minutes. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the KXLY 4 News app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Then contact KXLY 4 News.